Section four of Amoretti by Edmund Spencer. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Leonard Wilson. Sonnets ten, eleven, and twelve. Sonnet ten. Unrighteous Lord of Love, what law is this that me thou makest thus tormented be? the while she lordeth in licentious bliss of her free will scorning both thee and me see how the tyranness doth joy to see the huge massacres which her eyes do make and humbled heart springs captives unto thee that thou of them mayst mighty vengeance take but her proud heart do thou a little shake and that high look with which she doth control all this world's pride bow to a baser make and all her faults in thy black book enroll that i may laugh at her in equal sort as she doth laugh at me and makes my pain her sport sonnet eleven daily when i do seek and sue for peace and hostages do offer for my truth she cruel warrior doth herself address to battle and the weary war reneweth nor will be moved with reason or with ruth to grant small respite to my restless toil but greedily her fell intent pursueth of my poor life to make unpitied spoil yet my poor life all sorrows to a soil i would her yield her wrath to pacify but then she seeks with torment and turmoil to force me live and will not let me die all pain hath end and every war hath peace but mine no price nor prayer may surcease sonnet twelve one day i sought with her heart-thrilling eyes to make a truce and terms to entertain all fearless then of so false enemies which sought me to entrap in treason's train so as i then disarmed did remain a wicked ambush which lay hidden long in the close court of her guileful iron thence breaking forth did thick about me throng too feeble i to abide the brunt so strong was forced to yield myself into their hands who me captiving straight with rigorous wrong have ever since me kept in cruel bands so lady now to you i do complain against your eyes that justice i may gain End of section four of Amoretti by Edmund Spencer. Recording by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio.